Right now, we're gonna be checking out some terrifying sea creatures caught on camera. Experts can't explain. Haha, <laughs> I actually caught it. And girl, you better get that out of here. And everybody, please just do me a favor, click the first link in the description below and get the dang Matt Smith merch, yeah man. It's brand new, so get it before it's gone. And yeah, comment down below your favorite sea creature. Do you like sharks? Do you like eels? Or do you like octopuses? Let me know. Illegal. Giant sea creatures might start to come up from the bottom of the ocean. This theory about the end of the world is called megafauna. And the craziest part is that scientists believe that this might actually be able to happen. We all know that the entire ocean has never been explored. And it's a lot deeper than we originally thought that it was. So is like, your mama. The ocean covers 71% of the planet and we've only discovered 5% of it. And over time, we've discovered so many like sea monster type creatures. Like remember the giant squid used to just be a myth. People didn't think it existed. They thought it was like a fisherman's tale. And in Noah's Ark, a story from the Bible, there was also this big flood that wiped out all of humankind, except for like what was on this ark. If these creatures were roaming around and closer to humans, we would not survive probably. And that's what I find to be so scary about theories like this. Like we don't know what's gonna come up from under the ocean. It could be anything. It could be something that could then go on to land. Let me know if you believe this end of the world theory. And if you like my content, follow my TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube for more. I ain't following squat, girl. That's crazy though. They say the earth is 70% water and we only discovered like five maybe ten percent of it so there's some weird creepy squiggly diggly sea creatures down there that we don't even know exist we haven't been able to explore the bottom of the ocean so there's some things down there maybe aliens or mermaids something's down there hiding living waiting for us to drop our guard so it can uh steal our underwear hey you never know hey octopus oh, what the Okay, they can't camouflage like that. That's crazy. Oh, okay. okay. If nobody even knew what an octopus, octopus was in the first place, you'd think that's an alien. That thing just looks like an alien, bro. And look at, what, what is that? A tripod fish? That's insane. Oh, mm, heck no. Sharks are just, are just, uh, y'all too aggressive, man. Y'all need to take a chill pill. You guys need to calm down. You guys need to take a Tylenol PM or something. Oh, 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 bro, bro. You got a bunch of leeches on you. Might need to shake it off or something, bro. But the camouflage is real, though. I mean, this octopus is just crazy. Just chilling, and you can't stay in one spot, can you? You're too antsy, man. Take your anxiety medication. If I was swimming in the ocean and I see an octopus, I'm freaking out, man. Because that's scary to see in the water and, like, you know. I ain't the fastest swimmer, but I guarantee you, man, I will bring a Glock with me down there just in case. And I'll split your wig. After watching this video, you might never go into the ocean again. Okay, so we all know how sharks are one of the most terrifying parts of the ocean. And it's a big reason people don't go in because they don't want to get attacked by a shark. True. But what if I told you every time you're in the ocean, you're actually swimming right next to sharks and you don't even know it. Sharks have enormous ranges and can cover great distances with ease. Which means they can surprise beachgoers anywhere along the coast at any time. They can be seen in depths as low as 3 meters or 20 to 30 feet from shore. Dang. Which is just crazy if you think about it. Most attacks happen in 6 to 10 feet water, but they rarely attack humans. But here's the video showing how close sharks get to humans when they're at the beach. And you might never go again after seeing it. Oh, okay, those are the sharks on the left. That's pretty close. Dang. But there's some small sharks too. There's like tiger shark. There's like little sharks. And then there's the big sharks. Like the great white shark. But yeah, nowadays when I go to the beach, I stay my butt on the sand, okay? And then all my white friends are like, hey Matt, let's let's get in the water. Let's let's go in the ocean. Let's go swim out to the buoy. No, I ain't swimming out to squat. Okay, I'll swim in a pool, that's fine. But then those same white friends are like, hey, let's jump in the lake. 
Let's go in the river. N no. Are you trying to get your booty bit by a shark? Probably not in the lake, but like in the ocean, like shark will bite your booty. They will bite it like it's an apple and rip the skin off. Ugh. We can't have that. You see the shark? Look at him. Thirsty. Look at you. Just wanting to bite us some dark meat. You ain't gonna get it from me, okay? You're gonna have to get it from that man, whoever that is. Whose uncle is that? Comment down below. Facts about the ocean that are scarier than any horror movie. First up, I bet you didn't know that you can literally melt in the ocean. Because in the deep sea, there's something called hydrothermal vents that can reach up to 750 degrees Fahrenheit, which will allegedly cause your body to melt. But by then, you probably wouldn't even notice because all your bones would have likely been crushed by the pressure. Jeez. The next fact is honestly even scarier to think about. You know how we have so many scary stories about sea creatures, like sirens, the Loch Ness Monster, or giant squids? Well, a lot of the creatures that used to be just a story are slowly being discovered as real. For example, the giant squid, which scientists found were not only real and over 59 feet in length, but are also cannibals. If what? that's not bad enough, here's more. Because the ocean is basically a giant graveyard. In 2014, researchers diving into an underwater cave in Mexico found the remains of a girl estimated to be 13,000 years old. Meaning there's a high likelihood that if you go missing or drown that you would probably never be found. There's also 10 million viruses in every drop of seawater, meaning viruses in the ocean outnumber all of the stars in the Milky Way. The actual number is estimated to be one nonillion, which is a number I've never heard before, but here it is written out. That itself makes me never want to go swimming in the ocean again. Follow for more. I ain't following squat, girl. Yeah, that many viruses in the ocean. I think I'm good not swimming in there. Stick to the pool, man. Just go to the pool. Even though kids be peeing in the pool. So, you know, uh, build your own pool or swim in the bathtub. <laughs> Just do that. Discovering giant squids. She said some of these things can get to 59 feet. Feet. Bro, you need to join the basketball team if you if you that long. That's literally an alien. That's not even an animal. It's an alien. But that's also some good eating right there. You throw that thing on the grill. Mm -mm, put some dry rub on it. Put some sasson on it. And then, you know, we can have ourselves a seafood boil. Eating a giant squid that's 59 feet long. Guys, we're going to be eating for three years. <laughs> Why don't we just do that? That's how you solve world hunger. Get a bunch of these giant squids and just feed them to everybody. Problem solved. Okay, it's not that easy. Five scary sea creatures in the Mariana Trench. The zombie worm, the deep sea hatchet fit, the sea devil angler fish, that was in Finding Nemo. The barrel lily fish, the Dumbo octopus. You guys are making these names up. They're getting lazy with naming these fish. Why is it called the zombie worm? Cause all these things look dead. Like that, the hatchet fish, it should be called the zombie fish. That looks like an alien, man. These things are just disgusting. Yo, yo teeth are so jagged and ratchet. <gasps> The ratchet hatchet fish. It makes sense. And then the sea devil or angler fish. Oh, and this thing, I've heard of this thing, the barrel eye fish. Its head is like translucent so you can see its brain. So I can literally see your thoughts, my boy. We know what you up to, looking like Megamind. <laughs> Speaking of Megamind. Terrified of the ocean, part one. Up first, did you know that Scotland is home to the world's third largest whirlpool? called the Corryvreckan Maelstrom. In large storms, it can <gasps> produce huge waves over 10 foot high and be heard up to 20 miles away. Ooh. Up next, a giant squid. Once thought to be a myth, in 2004, the first pictures of a live one were taken. The largest giant squid found was 43 feet long. Jeez. But scientists think some could be up to 60 to 70 feet long. And finally, Every year, great white sharks congregate en masse at a remote spot in the Pacific Ocean. It's been nicknamed the White Shark Cafe. What? You said these white sharks congregate once a year? What, to talk about the ocean's pollution or something? Like, like, why? Why are y'all congregating? Or is it like mating season? Oh, it's mating season. Okay, these sharks trying to uh, give each other some special hugs. The special hugs you give in order to uh, reproduce. These giant squids are getting out of hand though, I'll tell you that much. Squidward, talk to your cousins and tell them to stop freaking us out. Real mermaids caught on camera. Oh. Okay. Oh! <gasps> Mermaid!
Honestly, I really wouldn't be surprised if like mermaids were real and they just live like near the bottom of the ocean or something like that. But then every once in a while they come up to the surface to try and lure fishermen to their doom. I hope mermaids are hot. Hopefully they like actually look good rather than, you know, some of these mermaids they, they claim just look like like scaly fish, scaly human fish with a fin and arms. Those aren't the mermaids we learned about in the Disney movie, The Little Mermaid. And that movie, they look good. But, you know, real life mermaids might be looking uh, a little hungry, like they need some milk. Hello? I'm about to share with you a place that no human dares to go. The place is called the Tonga Trench, and it is the second deepest place on Earth. Located in the South Pacific Ocean, this trench is said to be over 10,000 meters deep at some point. Jeez. But it could be even deeper than that. On top of that, scientists believe that there are a number of terrifying creatures down there. Creatures we don't even know exist yet. Also, the radioisotope thermoelectric generator that was placed on the moon during Apollo 13 mission uh, survived re-entry and ended up in this trench. So basically, it's just chilling down there and it's still radioactive. So that's another reason people don't really want to go down there. Dang! The ocean is so dang deep. And the deeper you go, the more the ocean pressure. So it's hard for man-made objects to make it down there because the weight of the water is going to crush the submarine. I'm fine not going all the way down there. You don't know what's going on. They're probably having meetings down there trying to figure out what to do with us. <laughs> they like, I'm sick of these humans. <laughs> One day they might just rise up from the ocean and be like, hey, y'all cooked. But hopefully we're not cooked. If if anything's gonna be cooked, it's gonna be that giant squid. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. But if you enjoyed this video, then go ahead and smack that like button. And yeah, I'ma see ya in the next one. Peace.